Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to spoof your PSP's system software version and MAC address and change it to any type of text you want. So the link will be in the description. It will bring you to this Brewology page. What you need to do is just download this. It's called Spoofer. So you can just download file here. It's going to give you a zip file. So once you're in your downloads folder, what you can do is just right click and then select extract here. Right, so once you're in the spoofer folder, these are the files that you want to copy across to your PSP. But before you copy everything across, you want to go into SE plugins and just copy this line of text from the VSH into the VSH text on your SE plugins folder. So you want to, I'm just going to add it on, I already had it, so I'm just going to add it on to the end and then file and save. Right, so once you've copied that across, you can just delete the one that comes with this. Now you can simply copy all of these items to the root of your PSP's memory stick. These two files can be deleted as well. Right guys, so now you need to edit the information um, on the spoofer. So we're just going to go into the SE plugins folder and we're just looking for spoofer underscore config and it's a text document. Open that. The only problem I found with this is everything's in sort of um, Japanese. So it is fairly easy to change it. Just change the week name and sort of month names to anything in English or whatever language you want. I'm not too bothered about that. So um, for the version, you want to put something in here. So I'm just going to put, I'll just give you an example. Uh, maybe just put like a face or something. You can just design anything you want to. Let's just put a load of dashes. And then for the MAC address, you can put something else. Um, let's just put let's put like that sort of face. Now we're just going to go on File and Save. Okay, guys. So that's it for the computer. Now I'm going to head head over to my PSP and show you guys what to do next. Right, guys. So once you're on your PSP, you just want to hit Select. This will bring up the VSH menu. You want to go down to recovery menu. Once you're in here, you want to go down to plugins. Um, spoofer is normally disabled, so it might be enabled for you. Doesn't really matter. You can just enable it again here. Then you just want to go up to back, back again. Now it's exited. Right, so what you want to do from here is just press select again. Go down to reset VSH and press X. So as you can see we have all this information at the top here. That means that it's running correctly. We're just going to scroll down, go into system settings, um, system information. As you can see it's got that line thing I made and that small face. So this is pretty cool. It's just like a small customization trick. Maybe it come in useful. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.